Hey guys, Midwest Picker here. Um, this is going to be kind of a short video. It's going to be a combination video. Um, what sold? I sold two items. I know it's not a lot. Um, an unboxing video. And then I'm going to talk about the item that I sold and the fact I put it on sale and I took a best offer. How all of that works. And then I'll probably do a how-to video. Uh, soon my next video on how to package glass for shipping like four large plates. So let's get into what sold. Actually, before we do the what sold, um, really big return on investment. I mean, I paid a dollar and I made 40 bucks. So you're going to want to stick around for that. But before I do the what sold, let's do this unboxing video first. Um, if you don't know Commonwealth Picker, his name is Kevin. Super nice guy down in Virginia. He's got two channels now. I think he's up to 6,000 subs. I don't know. But I give him shout outs all the time. He gives me shout outs all the time. We all, YouTube families, content creators, we're always helping each other, which is really cool. Um, and I purchased things from him and a man. And this, is that a, there's an ornament. Can't see it now, but right there, there's a Han Solo ornament. Other stuff I bought from him. Um, and I just love decorating my eBay office. I need to get some stuff over here. Um, and I recently bought um, an item for him to go in the eBay cave. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to set up the tripod on the desk and we'll do a quick unboxing. All right. I hope you can hear me okay. I got the tabletop tripod set up so I can use two hands. So this is pretty cool. When I buy something from Kevin, um, he always throws in little trinkets like stickers, business cards. One time I bought um, this Enderman from him and he actually sent me two. So I'm pretty excited to see what he sent. I know what I bought, but sometimes he surprises me. So hopefully the audio works on this because I can't really watch and listen at the same time. Carefully cut into this. And uh, I might have to narrate, I don't know. I, I, I hope I'm talking loud enough that you can hear me, but unboxing videos are pretty fun. Uh, what is this? Hostess, I don't know, Snowball? I, I don't even like those. It's like coconut flavor. Uh, electrical tape. Uh, oh, this is awkward. Kid sent me a bunch of cash. I don't know why he did that. Um, uh, Bruce, Bruce Lee action figure. Um, oh geez, I gotta cover that up. Prescription pain pills. I don't know what that's about. Uh, uh, five dollars. A Skeletor action figure. Uh, I don't know. Ten dollars. Oh, that's cool. Some silver coin. Is that one or two? Two silver coins? I think I'll sell those on eBay. Uh, wooden dowel pins. Okay, now he's now he's trying to be funny. Uh, I have thousands of these. I don't need wooden dowel pins. Um, this is actually what I bought. It was this cool totem pole, which will go up on the wall here. Um... Yeah, you kind of outdid yourself, Kevin, this time. I don't really need the cash um, or these wooden dowel pins, but thank you. Anyway, um, yeah, I can use this money to go sourcing tomorrow at the thrift store, so thanks for that. Okay, that was the unboxing video from Kevin Commonwealth Picker. That was a little awkward, but yeah, thanks for the totem pole. I'll put a picture up here, but it is right right over here right next to the styrofoam head it looks pretty good it's a little dark might have to brighten up a little bit but thanks for the totem pole i appreciate it uh so let's talk about what's sold all right if you haven't figured it out by now that was just a joke i already opened the box i put all that junk in there and i opened it from the other side so kevin did not send me all that stuff he sent me the awesome totem pole and a really nice personal note which is right there which you probably can't read um, so thanks Kevin for the totem pole. Alright, so this is what sold. Let's get serious now because you guys want to make money and learn how to flip and resell and, and pick. So these are crystal napkin ring holders. 
I'll put a picture up here. I think I sourced these for $3 when I went down to Fort Wayne, Indiana to visit the family, my sister Michelle and mom and dad, nieces. Nice video on that. I'll put the episode up here. Um, yeah, they sold for $18.95. Or no, I'm sorry. I listed it for $18.95. I took a best offer of $15. So I think I mentioned in the last video, best offers are running about 25%, which is really shocking to me that it's not higher. I, I think Kevin mentioned that he hardly ever uses it. I put them on almost everything except for vintage, real expensive items. I don't put it on there. But for the most part, the bread and butter stuff, I'll put best offer. And really, only about 25% of the time do I get offers. I should check my analytics on eBay. They'll show you, if you have a seller hub, what percentage of your sales are based on best offers, based on promotions, all, all those statistics that are very helpful. But... I took a best offer of $15. Not a bad flip. $3 into $15. I, I like a better margin than that, but that's not so bad. So this next one's going to be a little lengthy. This is Villaroy and Bach. I hope I'm saying that right. These are teapot warmers. They go by different names, uh, but that's what I found when I did the research. That's the best way to describe it. I had two of them. And it's kind of, let's see here. Regular price is $35.95. Got a lot of watchers. Uh, tons of views over a thousand views and that might seem like a lot of money for this little four and a half inch ceramic teapot warmer but this is a kind of a high-end brand that people collect and like and it's not unusual to have that price so a while back I put all of my old glassware I had about 40 listings on sale 20% off for a month and sales just started uh, ticking up I did really good um, so the sale price at 20% off is $28.76. So then the watches and the views really went up. And then a guy said, hey, can I offer you $20 each if I buy two? And I thought, okay, well, my cost of goods is 50 cents each. So for a dollar, I'm going to make 40 and he's paying shipping. So yeah, I took the offer. Now you might not, you might say, well, you should have held out longer. They're already on sale. Why would you take an offer? I've had them for quite a while, over six or seven months. And for me, it's about turning over inventory and selling it and getting rid of it. So if I could turn a buck into 40, even though I could have held out for more money, I'm going to do it. So I accepted the offer, paid me $40. The shipping I didn't have the settings right, so I refunded him half the shipping by sending him a new invoice. Not a problem. The last video I talked about that. Um, if I have a customer buy multiple items and they accidentally pay all the shipping for all the items, I'll just go into PayPal and refund them the shipping for the other items if I could get them all to fit in one box. So that's not hard to do. This guy was smart. He emailed me right away and said, hey, if I buy these will you refund shipping or combine shipping and I said sure he asked for a new invoice so I just sent him a new invoice when you do that you can adjust all the fields I cut the shipping in half he was super happy paid right away I put both of those teapot warmers in one box and he paid $9.99 and with my eBay discount I paid about $9.30 shipping so it worked out perfect for some reason my niche seems to be glass I'm doing very well with plumbing supplies tools and parts and glassware dishes um, I didn't set out to do that but it just seems to work out that way I've tried clothing with very little success I've had success with books but used books used clothing that market is saturated there's a ton of sellers so good luck to you if you're gonna do that uh, people tend to stay away from glass I was just talking to dumpster diver dad and, and he says he doesn't like to ship glass or try to sell it a lot of people feel that way because it's a lot more work to package it and then there's the risk of breakage and returns I've been lucky since 2002 I've never had an item break so my next video I'm gonna do a boxing video I'm just gonna take four big plates whether they sell or not and I'm gonna make a video to show you how I package it and box it up um, after the video I'll just unbox it and put it back in my inventory over here well, that video will be coming up next, uh, probably in a couple days. So I got a lot of new subscribers uh, recently, thanks to Kevin, and thanks to Dumpster Diver Dad. Um, thanks for the shout-outs, that's helped a lot. I, my subscriber count has just gone up, and if you're new to this channel, I'm part-time, been eBay seller since 2002. 
uh, way before YouTube even existed, so I don't even know how I did it. I made a lot of rookie mistakes. Maybe I'll make a video of all my rookie mistakes from back in the day. Um, that would be a hilarious video. Um, but yeah, I'm part-time, I'm a full-time nurse, um, I'm a dad and a husband, and I just work all day, do this part-time in the evenings, on weekends. A lot of you guys are part-time, so I'm trying to help out anybody that's new to reselling, not just eBay. It could be you sell on Craigslist or uh, flea markets, maybe you're a flea market seller. Um, you could be high-tech, low-tech, doesn't matter. I have a lot of how-to videos. If you look down in the description, there's links to how to ship and how to source how to list on eBay, how to sign up for the first time, how to determine prices for items. A lot of people are wondering, like, what do I buy? What do I source to resell? There's a lot of anxiety with that. So that's what you call bolos or be on the lookout. A lot of video content I make is what actually sold. And when I do that, I tell you what I paid, what it sold for, and how it shipped. So that helps out people that are new. Speaking of how it shipped, I forgot to tell you, with the crystal napkin rings, it's just a little box that's like, two by four by six that's going to go priority mail just because it's a nice crystal in the box it's going to go a region a box for me with my discount for ebay it's only like nine bucks so it works out great uh the villaroy and bach um, that already went out that was a region b box i wanted a little bit bigger um and they paid up for the shipping and i, I came out even on that too so i love a good region a priority mail region a just works out great for me i just love it um, I think it's 10 or 15 pounds. You have to look that up yourself, but it's really nice. Whatever you can fit in there, you don't have to worry about the void fill. It doesn't have to be light styrofoam. You could just use newspaper or boxes or whatever you want. Just pack it in there. It comes with free insurance. And my conspiracy theory is that the post office treats priority mail just a little bit nicer than the plain brown box. I don't know. I've never had anything break. So that's it guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And for the subscribers, hit that little bell icon. You'll get notifications when I have new content. One of these days I'm going to do a live video. Um, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I've reached out to some heavy hitters that do interviews and live videos. So they have already responded back to me, so hopefully we can make something happen. I got about three potential live videos coming up soon um, where I'm going to do a collab, like two, three, or four people at the same time. That would be super fun. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.